digital manufacturing, automation, light top manufacturing. All of these things are more and more becoming the norm to stay competitive and be successful in manufacturing. For many shops though, it's hard to know where to start, what to choose, and justify the upfront cost. Luckily, one of these can help by giving manufacturers actual data to eliminate inefficiencies and improve production in the short run and help create a roadmap for future projects in the long run. And it's probably the cheapest and quickest to get set up. Machine monitoring. Of course, there are numerous options out there to choose from, so what should you use? Well, we at Mitsubishi Electric have chosen to build our solutions around the MT Connect standard. Why? Because it provides a simple method to network your CNC for monitoring, no matter the control brand or visualization software you decide on. So setting your machines up for MT Connect can take as little as two to three minutes a machine. And once it's done, you never have to pay for networking that machine for monitoring again. Now to show you how easily this can be done, I'm going to connect this mill here for monitoring with our MT Connect compatible IMA system. I've simply connected my computer to the control via Ethernet, set the machine's IP address, and now all I have to do is install software on my computer. When you get an IMA adapter, which is our name for the MT Connect adapters on, you're going to get an installer and a license key. Then there is also, to complete the system, there is an IMA desktop component and a mobile component, which we'll take a look at later. Um, but I have here opened up on the screen. All right, so here is the license key, comes in a text file, and when I open it up, I see the serial number, all of the different data that's available, the option packages that we have, and then the license key. So if I want to actually do this install, what I'm going to do is, is open up the installer. All right. So there's going to be a screen pop up. I have to run that. All right, going over onto my second screen. All right, so all I have to do is hit next. I just choose the folder that I want to install this in. All right, I choose to run the adapter and the agent. These are both components of them to connect. I'm not going to install the runtime library. This is the thing that allows you to communicate with the CNC, but I already have that on my computer, so we don't need that now. All right, a couple of license agreements. So now I need to put in what do I want to call the service name for the adapter. I'm just going to leave it at the uh, defaults because I only have one machine. If I had many machines, I'd want to give them different names and unique port numbers as well. So I have the, just leave it at IMA standard adapter. The standard default port for MT Connect adapters is 7878. Hit next. All right, same thing, we also have to put in the MT Connect agent. Again, just going to leave it at the default MT Connect agent and 5000. But again, just like with the adapter services, if you have multiple machines that you're installing this for, you're going to want to give them each a unique service name and a unique port number. And the uh, installer will help by double checking to make sure that the ports you're choosing are open so that you're not trying to install something where there's already a program running. So the last thing we need to do, or one of them, is put in the IP address for the machine, which is 192.168.0.11. All right, we want to choose what the mill is. So it's an M8 mill, so we want to choose that. So then we just need to put in the serial number. So copy that over and the license key. All right, and put that in there. All right, I'm going to hit install. So what this is doing is it's installing the MT Connect adapter, which is basically what takes the data out of the machine. It communicates to the machine and takes the data out. And then we're also installing the MT Connect agent. And this is what holds on to that data in the MT Connect format for any machine visualization software to access and use. And that's it. And that's already installed. So to double check that it's installed, I would go up and I would look at my services that I have running. And these are just programs you have running in the background. All right, and I can see here IMA standard adapter running. All right, and MT Connect agent, where is that? There it is, and it's running. Okay, so this is ready to go. Now the next thing I need to do, I just pull up, I've got my IMA desktop software. So what this does is it allows us to put in that machine that we just uh, installed the software for, and the adapter for, and put it into our desktop app where I'll be able to see simplified dashboards to view status on my computer or on a monitor and it'll push the data out to the cloud so that you can see status on a phone and on a uh, and get notifications on that smart device as well. And to add this machine all I have to do is click add machine. I want to put the source URL which is the URL for this uh, computer where I have the agent installed. 
and the port number, which again, the agent port was 5,000. So once that's done, I go down, I hit select, I can see the NC serial number for this machine, and I just put it in, I have to give it a name, I hit spark, and there we go. Now it's in, I hit start. All right, I can see that it's got data. I can see what that data is here now. Now this is all ready to go. I can take out my phone, all right, and I can open up IMA Mobile, which is just an app that you can download through the Google or Android st uh, or Apple stores. I hit this machine name, Spark, and I can see it. I've got my machine status right there. So if I wanted to make a change, let's say I wanted to reduce my spindle speed, a couple of things are gonna happen. I can go up to the cloud, what we're gonna see is a notification here. It's gonna to go to yellow to tell me that it's no longer running at peak performance there. I'm gonna get a notification and my screen is gonna also change here. Let's so say I wanna throw e-stop, all right, pretty quickly there, get the notification. I can see the exact message of whatever alarm is happening here is gonna be reflected here. And I see it on my computer as well. All right, so again, turn off that. Put it back in cycle. All right. And I go back. Oh, my feed rate just spindle speed is still low. So I fix that. And again, we're gonna get back to green, everything back to going well. And that's how easy it is to get monitoring. Now that I've got my machine hooked up, I can start using the data to understand how much it's actually cutting parts in the day, which I could then use to increase my production from this machine. If I had all the machines in the shop connected, I could see where there are inefficiencies to fix or understand my production capabilities, costs, and times better for bidding on jobs. I can use the data to create a roadmap for future projects. Do I buy a new machine to increase capacity or take on a new job? Or can I get more with the machines I have by making some process changes? If I'm having trouble finding operators or simply want to maximize the time of my current operators, I can understand which machines and jobs are best to automate or let them set the jobs up and then leave the jobs to run unattended while they monitor production on their phone, being notified when they need to attend to a machine. In shorter terms, machine monitoring is the quickest way to improve performance while freeing you and your operators up to do more, or just to get out of the shop on the weekend without worrying about the jobs that you have running. So contact us and we can help you start enjoying those benefits with free trials and have you up and monitoring by tomorrow.